It's just um, if you yeah, go on YouTube and search for Town of Culver, there's YouTube oh, yeah, so of Town of Culver, good. and it'll yeah. list all yeah. now. It'll yeah. also have council meetings yes, and the uh, planning uh, commission meetings, but song. you'll see really? the yep. dated. Like, you'll see like the videos. Just click yeah. on it. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's sort of a long area. Yeah. Cool. It's like so 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 don't have to have a picture. Nope. Hopefully, we'll have a better reputation. I don't even have one. <laughs> that was the one that usually had some problems. Yeah, oh yeah. No, they're still just as uh, crazy as well. <clears throat> Daughter is a help kind of mega finding. Oh, oh they had wonderful experiences. Yeah. yeah. It's still so lovely. I would have thought you were. Really? Yeah, but at the wrong school. Wrong school. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We have sent myself an email, Dan, with the ingredient request, so I don't forget. I'm sure I probably will. Right. Oh. But if they don't turn out, it's on you. Oh yeah, uh, that is crazy. But that's a that's an item story yeah. right there. Sure. I think my dad used to. I was going to say your dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah your that's probably what it's probably your dad's recipe. Somehow you think it's genetic, <laughs> and it's just not. He was really good. Yeah, he was. Probably just one. It was. Brenda said he used to bring him into the dentist's office. Oh yeah, he loved taking him in. Anyone who did something nice for him got things. And any, even the people who didn't do nice things for him. That's cool. Yes, sir. Yep. Have a daughter. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, is that so? Yes. She's a Tennessee geologist over in Fort Wayne. Oh, is that so? Oh, I didn't know that. Kind of cool. It's a great experience for her, too. Oh, yeah. That's a great time. That's well, it sounds like it could be that she had a little sea yeah, salt on her. guy in the region. <laughs> And grab and grabbed him and went Get over there in Vietnam and all these interns there. And Arnold goes, All right, here went the ID. And the guy goes, Okay, come with me. And the well, next well, thing he well, knows, well, he's up at case on the And they dug out left the he said there was just a big engine feet pull up and you get you know bounce for bouncing all over the these I thought all over the oh, yeah. this was the one oh, okay yeah, he said uh oh okay yeah he said so they had ways to the store so they might be uh I should tell back these two now do I sign this one after I read it said it was bad oh got a vote right 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 so you just uh keep no things in your book all right okay yeah we'll call the meeting Yeah, I'd like to ask everybody to stand. Like the I'd like to allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everybody to the September meeting of the Culver Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, I'd like to remind everybody that we are being recorded and also we are online. I don't know if we have anybody listening in online tonight or not. Um, I will hand the roll call since we don't have a secretary at this point. Uh, Mr. Mission? 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 Nelson. Nelson. I always say that wrong. That's all right. I don't take offense. Mr. McManaway? Mr. Osmond? Present. Mr. Chris? Present. And we have Chuck DeWitt, our building commissioner, and our town manager, Jim Brown. And I'm Dan Adams, president. 
Um, we are going to skip the approval of the minutes uh, since the August 18th minutes. Um, the next meeting that we have a few other minutes that we need to, that we have not, uh, but we need time. Um, I'm going to jump from the agenda and switch to something else, and that is nomination for secretary. I'm a secretary, and we do have a person who has doing this to set you to do it. That's Mr. Grid. Yeah, so if I could have a motion from somebody <laughs> and second. I'll make them second. I'll second it. <laughs> That uh, Mr. Chris will be the <laughs> secretary for the PZ8 meeting part of this year in January. Um, Good property second. Do we have any discussion about it? Not favor. So we have a aye. aye, 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 and it passed by a Thank you, John. Yeah. We just have one petition on the agenda tonight. 2022021B and Mr. Easter Day is going to present this. So let uh, Mr. Easter Day proceed. Good evening. How are you folks this evening? He's got a book for us. Well, <laughs> I'll start by saying I really worked hard to try and give you a good, succinct um, presentation and I'm having trouble. So if I ramble, please forgive me for doing that. But in my research of this, uh, as you know, we pulled the first one and came back with a second. The reason I did that was because I was a little confused as to what was really going on. And from what I can tell, and I'm not totally 100% sure today, but I think I am. From what I can tell, they, there was a situation between this property and the group property whereby Mrs. Uh, Klein, 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 uh, had a house that was up on the hill, and that house encroached upon property that became the Smith property that we're here. And the Smiths had a boathouse that apparently encroached upon the Klein property. So whether they're going through protracted litigation and going crazy, the people put their heads together and they went a couple different ways. First time around, they did an easement, and that easement provides that the house that was up on the hill shall have an easement in perpetuity uh, from the Smith property, and the boathouse that was down on the lake would have an easement in perpetuity from the uh, Klein property. Then it appears, and I've actually communicated with the lawyers involved, but it appears that Mrs. Klein then suggested, well, I'm going to sell my property and I'm not going to have it forever. And that house is going to be torn down. So I will grant you a triangle of property that will kind of take care of everything. And uh, then when I sell, it just won't be in. And that's what appears to me has happened. But just to get you started on, here's a copy of the East. Was originally put together. I think you can give me two copies. I'll be silent, John. But this was before. This is. This is when it was still in the so. Yes, this was when they first, basically first started. Yes. But and you say that's changed now. That was well, the easement still exists because it's it's an easement in perpetuity. But uh, I think it's kind of negated by the deed from what I can see. And so I'll just go ahead and give you that as well. Okay, I, I what's in perpetuity mean? For us. Okay. So basically that means it doesn't die when the present landowner does or sells or anything else. The two magic words in real estate are runs with the land and in perpetuity. And so if you grant an easement that runs with the land, that means every time the property is sold, 
this season it continues on with it. It runs with it. And then the in perpetuity is just exactly that. How do you feel it's negated? Say what? Why do you feel that the easement is negated? Well, because there's some law out there that says if you if you become the owner of the property that you have an easement to, you don't need an easement anymore. You don't have an easement. So if I give you an easement for a driveway across my property and then I sell you my property, not really an easement. Not really you're not, the you're not the one that's physical. I I own. So you feel that the, the triangle that they gave it, it appears to me. The only reason I had on that at all is because I didn't have a survey. I didn't have the time to have a survey. But it appears to me that the triangle that they gave covers that. And then where that occurred was on this quick claim deed. So anyway, the magic words on the quick claim deed, if you look down in the legal description, it says uh, the following described real estate goes to the uh, Smith Family Trust or the Smiths and about the one, two, three, fourth line down, it says also a triangular track south of the adjoining lot one of the Rochester Club Grounds on the west bank of Lake Max and Kucky described as follows. Commencing at the southeast corner of said lot one, running thence in a southerly direction along the meander line of Lake Max and Kucky, a distance of 15 feet. Thence in a northwesterly direction to the southwest corner of lot one. So it goes clear across lot one to the southwest corner.
Yeah, and if the easement not there, and then it gets better for us. And then the property that it's fine. Is it? It's fifteen feet. It's fifteen feet. Yeah. At the at the widest point, it's a triangle. And if I may, one of the reasons that we wanted to keep the easement was to be able to maintain that boathouse. And uh, so it's really difficult to maintain something that's you don't have access on one side. You ever got into it from the neighbors? So with a quick claim, you didn't need easement. Correct. But I mean, if, if the quick claim is legit, whatever he has got kind of be Yeah, and I don't uh, want to. But if it is or isn't, yeah. then we would be asking for a three foot variance. Is that correct? He'd probably be asking for more to the seven, eight, or nine, probably. What you're saying is, since the quick claim deed, the property line is now moved. So the easement is gone. It's it, gone. It, it appears. Where it is, or it, 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 it appears that, that, and the reason I say it appears is that I didn't write that darn deed, and I wasn't involved in those transactions. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to mislead you folks in any way, shape, or form. But it, it appears to me that if that triangular parcel is, in fact, a conveyance from the southeast corner of Lot 1, that um, that, that would certainly help our situation. Now, why am I nervous about that? Well, I'm nervous about it because I can't figure out why the surveyor doesn't show that. And I can't figure out why GIS doesn't show that. Even though they show the the uh, easement, they don't seem to show that. And they mention the quick claim deed. Is it possible that that quick claim deed was not recorded right yet? I've got yet? a copy. Is the copy you have recorded? Oh. And it was recorded before the transfer to the group. Weird. My only concern, the reason I was asking about the difference between them, Quick claim mm -hmm. and easement because you're asking for a three foot uh, side yard versus the ten. And this variance for the three foot is going to be a continued thing on the property. If you gain more property, then you've got four more feet that you can move over later on because your even your variance would carry. No, it would be, I would stipulate and you can put it in your order. That it would be from the easement line. No matter what quick claim deeds, we could do that. No, we don't want to move in on it. Yes. I mean, they're, they're too good a name. They don't want to do yeah. something that's right. correct. Right. Well, according to our ordinance, the accessory structure is subordinate structure located on the same zoning lot as the principal building or use. So I don't think there's any way until we know whether this is legitimate or not, that you can make a recommendation of voting. And you don't know if it's the same lot. Correct. Right now it's easy. Well, right. Or a lot. Yes, one or the other. We have something saying each way. But the magic words are zoning. I, that's, how, was this, that real cool. how does this get resolved? It doesn't sound like there's a knife. I don't. Yeah. yeah. So I, my question would be like the tax roll. Who's paid the taxes on that said property That's over the last? Question. That is a good question. Uh, but it really, to me, honestly, here's here's the thing. I, I really don't want to hold their project up at all. I, I want their project finished as badly as they do. I mean, I think what we did it's been excessive and a bit extreme. Um, and I think finishing to them is very important to us to make sure that we see this thing through to the end. Um, I'm not here to hold their project up. I want to I want to say that very loud and clear. And I think that for me, put it on the property. Line. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's we're talking about 12 inches. By the way, I calculated it in the scale of the drawings that I got. It may even be less than one foot. That's just the friend that that's the property. Yeah. <laughs> so is it is there something about the side of that hill that makes it difficult to move it over 
to the original. Everything project. about that hill makes everything difficult. That's okay. why not 30 feet from, from the house. I didn't realize it was back around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 30 feet from the top of the hill. To, to the when you look at that, it's very, 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 very down how yeah. steep it is. Yeah, that's, 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 that was yeah. one of the things we had on the stuff with the same thing. We had to get sounds like what you're doing is part of the way to do it. But just yeah, I mean, no matter what they do, it's going to make their, I mean, 100% of their situation. I'm all for the project. I mean, I, I want to be very clear on that. I, I, I'm not here to fight the project. I'm just here, I guess, trying to understand where we are. I had no idea of a deed until I walked in here. Um, I'm I'm under the impression it's, a, it's an easement, and I've never seen a variance written off an easement before, which is why I'm... I see. This is where I'm struck. This is the part that I'm, but I still think there's an out. I think there's a solution. If if the project can move, I mean, if they want to move the project forward today, I'm all for that. Otherwise, I guess we have to figure out. We just have to know where the property is at. Sure, for sure. But I would think yes. right now, without that triangle, they've got approximately 40 feet of frontage at at the lakeside. If they Put that all on their property. They're all on what yeah, we see as an open right now. Move, I mean, it's put it at zero. If it isn't, it's and if they've got the triangle, they can work around it. If not, they yeah. work out something with their name. Right. right. And I would you propose the easement. Know, not the easement. If the easement is available and there, I propose the easement stay in place. If it's on the property line, they still have the space right. around it. We just don't have any yeah. choice in that. I, right I guess it, I'm, if I if it, I'm trying. Here at all, if if what I'm hearing is correct, I I think our biggest concern is if we move it too far, we're going to lose the easement. And if he's willing to say we keep the easement, we could move it to the property line at that point. As long as as long as we could, and then we can figure it out. Record if, something to continue the easement. But, but, because like he says, if we move it to the property line, you got to walk around it. So that's been a big issue with you guys forever. I guess my concern yeah. is that if the quick clean, quick, quick, quick claim deed didn't nullify the easement, it's making that us saying that we can still, still keep it an easement is moot. Well, we if, uh, he says that we can we can put paperwork together to do it. They can just write it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all, like I said, I'm I'm not here to stop the pro. I, like I said, I've had no yeah, idea of it. Too, and I I apologize. That's okay. I remember, there was some exchange of quit we, claim deeds, but had, I thought that was blame, part blame of that the on me. Thing. I thing. I, I found I, the darn thing when I was looking for. Well, I think even when I was talking to Rick on Saturday, he and I, I were talking about two either. separate things. Yeah. Like I had yeah. no idea. I didn't know there was a quit claim deed either. So, let, let me ask another question then. Okay. Going on if it is if it, if it, where it is, but right now you're actually moving it further to the south, to the east, west, west, west. west. Yeah, he's moving it up to here. He's moving it in the hill far, yeah. yeah. deeper into the hill, yeah. 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 which is yeah. which is what we like. Yeah, that's not and, a problem. And to that's me, good. you have corrected another problem that had existed before, and we've had these issues before, and it's what you've done as far as. Where you get your measurements, I don't have them. I guess I'm going to tell you here. But it looks to me like from your grade, which you're showing existing grades. Yeah. Right, I mean, you're showing the grade with the dotted line. Yeah. No, I don't know. But I mean, I think the grade might be. There's an existing retaining wall. There's an retaining wall back here. Oh, yeah. This is the best retaining wall there. Find a solution. I propose that it be approved with a contingency that we get a continuance of the easement, and uh, or we determine the easement's not necessary, and if not, then we'll come back. 
Say, say it again, Jim. Yeah, I, 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 I propose they approve it with the contingency that we get a continuation of the easement. And when I say approve it, it's the one foot over the property. Move it on foot. Uh, what does it do to the easement? Well, well that's, that's what I'm just saying. Yeah. So we would actually move it to the property line with the contingency that we can get a continuation of the easement to maintenance it as it was before. And if not, then we'll come back. But so the quick claim deed would have nothing to do with this then? Not tonight, no. I mean, and we don't have to mess you with don't that. Have to mess doing, but it could come back. Well, I, 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 I got you know, questions you know, okay, go ahead. about that. Okay, so I think we're looking at a we're starting to look at a time frame that is getting closer and closer. Exactly. Okay. And I don't know how we could say, yes, we could grant this contingent upon you getting all that stuff done. How long is it going to take to get that stuff done? And if it doesn't get done, you're going to come back to us. So where what does that do to the construction? Passes it up. Well, the construction is a minimum of 60 days away from the approval of the variance because we have to apply to the DNR to remove any stumps along the lakefront. So their permit process takes a minimum of 60 days. Okay, so that puts us now to November. And It's also part of a larger project there where they're going to be replacing their existing house with a new home. That's a that's a different house. Right, but that that house gives us access down to the lake. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a variance changed to building on the original property line at zero onto the property line. They can worry about their easement, property ownership, whatever, that's between them. If you change it so that you would have it zero, put it on the prop it, on the old property line or it's property line as as originally known. Yeah. As originally known then then I think that allows you to go ahead and build and then we try to work out the details and work out the details what it is and where we are right and then hopefully sometime we'll see it on gis or well i'm going to go to burning sheets and say what's going on i understand that so if the quick claim deed is valid and that moves the property line the buildings will take place in the same location. Well, we can say to the to the property they line before they get um, here, naturally. Uh, sure. uh, uh, lot B. If we we replatted that. It's a lot B. We replatted that, and so that would be the line. Even with quick claim deed, that would be the line until we replat it again. To me, that looks like yeah, lot B. So we agree. I agree. In fact, that's what I was going to come in here asking why it couldn't be moved to that property line even with that, because I didn't know what that other line was. Right. So I'm, then I'm they can worry about that, however long that takes. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get to, as far as from three feet, change it to the property line. So the corner, the corner will be on the property line. Yes, right. Either, maybe I'm what going to claim are valid, or there's a continuation of the easement so we can maintain that. And we've obviously got to finish our project to them and Jim, he made comment to yeah. the to the way our wall stopped it kind of everything stopped there because we knew their project was coming and we were going to finish make some sort of transition from us to them so we're all kind of in this together yeah, here regardless of what regardless irregardless whatever one of those two words it is we're all here together you know and we have to we have to finish to to the other one way or another hey Questions, comments, or move to finding a facts, Barry? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a proposal here on 
number two proposal here where you got it actually on the line. This is not the easement or the street for quick claim. But I mean, you've got the corner actually right on the line. Of course, right here you show, you know, whether it's the concrete itself or the motor lines, mm -hmm. whether it's sure whatever. What do you That's the one. We move to the north, so is that um, right now we start the corner right here. There's something over. Yeah, it's going to be moved yeah. Yeah. that way. Yeah, See, yeah. absolutely. That's very right there now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I can show them where it's not. This is the good thing. I don't know where you're going to put over. This is good. But what we're saying is they can move it back. Yeah. Basically, right now, it's still sort of like a foot. Okay. That's what I want. Okay, we're talking about that this wasn't on the post. The line. the three foot is on the middle. That's right, which we need. I want to make sure. I don't see anything that says right. It's actually one foot over the line. Here's how we're going to do the next Well, let me make sure I'm looking at the table. The proposal type plan, you tell me. Is it something that way? Yeah. Right here, it's over a foot. On the property, so they're going to move it to the property, but you can't move it anymore. Now. Right. This is the original property line. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I got that. Because it said, see it. Look at corner right here. It says three foot. Yeah. Yeah. I might say three foot. That's three foot from the other one. That was actually easier to get in. Right here. I don't want to answer. This is an easement, and then you got. Okay. Let me ask you a question. You're already talking about pushing it, pushing Up it hill, more yeah. into the hill, right? Which means you're going to have to excavate. Why couldn't you do some additional excavation to the north of the current and move the boathouse another foot over? That's what they're talking about. No, no, no. I think more, I more than, it, than it is. Well, here. there's there's a couple other. Parts to it. One is we don't really want the boathouse right in front of the cottage up on the hill. The other is those stairs are, you know, way steep. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to adjust the stairs and bring them over. Uh, and instead of coming straight down, straight drop down. And then we also already have some digging done because of his retain wall. It's already been done there. I noticed. And, yeah. yeah. So we're well, trying. Right. Ideally, you want to. Originally, we we're going to try and like have them right exactly even and everything, but I that hill is really tough. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because it actually kind of ruined it. Mr. Ellsberg, I have a question for the builder. Um, the roof on this structure is concrete. Yeah, the roof is also acting as a landing. The the landscape stairs. We're, we're going to replace the existing staircase now. Right. With a landscape staircase that comes and curves down around and exits onto the roof of the boathouse, and then from the boathouse down to the um, lakefront will be another set of stair stairs. I thought you should have had that. Oh, so it's going to be like a, we don't. It's going to be like a landing. Yes. Okay, because I was wondering about the runoff, how that was going to be addressed off that. Well, for landing or whatever. That. If you look at the drawing, he's got, he has a pitch. I always saw nothing on that. So. Now, this, I, this has nothing to do with the change of the no, stairway or anything. Well, we didn't, I didn't see any of that. I don't know that. But it's going to be the same size. I'm assuming it's really going to be a little taller, but bigger. So, is there going to be any type of uh, pervious surface that this runoff can mm -hmm. go into? Oh, uh, there'll be a gutter system. Yeah, it'll confuse them. It'll, well, it runs off now, I believe, to the back of the hill. Right. Well, I know that. Yeah. So, but you're going to address that right. situation as far as so that runoff is taken care of. Right. Okay. You know, Jason's done a great job with the uh, retaining wall on the fast wing. Already taken care of on that. No, so that we didn't most. I didn't see any of that. 
change. Yeah. Right. That's not part of what we're talking about here. Um, so not fixing up quickly. And when they have site the building permit, just to answer part of your question, is that they will have to give us uh, the drainage plan to show us where the water's been. So before they get approved, they have to show that to us also. Okay. So we'll be looking at that before. So how are we going to word this? What you're asking, because what it's asking for now is it's like their setback of three feet from the required ten. In fact, your setback of zero feet from the south um, line. Would, of just lot in, B. just in case the quick claim deed is correct, which how about just a four foot variance from the easement line, because everybody is associating it to the easement at the moment. No. We'll continue that and that will put us on point to because that's where it started. I think what uh, Mr. Easter has said here is what we want to use. Yeah. Not the yeah. easement, uh, yeah. property ownership, whatever. We don't care about. We don't know if the so stays right. 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 Or gotcha. or not. Or we can't so let's, let's use what Mr. Easter has said and of uh, zero from the lot line of, of lot B. You Just so there's no confusion when right. once whatever's decided. Right. I, right. And that's why I'm using lot B. Yeah. Well, right. That's a recorded subdivision. Right. And do we have the measurement as far as from your grade coming down as far as the heights of that? Yes. It's probably the front, late front part of the building. Yeah, yeah the overall building. height of the building is eight foot. Which eight feet from the one feet from the average of 15 degrees. Like from here, 15 degrees right here. What's the height? Seven, seven feet from that point. From the middle point. From the mid point. Seven feet. From the mid point. Read them ask them because it's supposed to be yeah. two and a half feet. Right. Brings me to another question. Uh, if you're looking at, you, you've got to get DNR approval, that's going to take 60 days. Are you going to be able to do this project in December, January, if it's 20 below? Oh, yeah. I hope so. I know, but but the, the talk was we want to get this done as quick as possible. Okay. We worked through two winters. I know, I know. <laughs> we watched all that. <laughs> where's where's the bigger answer? My whole entire life. It's our goal to I, I definitely get started this fall. Sorry. Yeah, it's our goal to get started this fall. Below. We don't have total control over DNR, but that's right. our goal. One of the things, being a builder, and we'll go along with this too. Um, <clears throat> You can, as long as you can get through the process, you can dig all winter long. Right. And so it's going to be, you know, winter conditions. Winter conditions. And, and so if that frost is, that's covered now, so um, with vegetation, which helps insulate it, mm -hmm. that probably by December is not going to be any farther frozen down than maybe six to eight inches. Oh, yeah. That'd, that'd be extreme. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Barry goes along that which can be the builder. So once you take your excavator, go through that, and you lift it up, and you throw the frozen off, and you got dirt just like you do today. Yeah. So, it's all sand too. I mean, yeah. there's just it literally doesn't breeze. So he, he can do it then and say that but that's on them on how fast they go now. Yeah. Right. Just say it's not our concern. Right. No, yeah. all all the all that they're asking is all that they're asking right now. Is a zero lot line, zero setback from the lot line of lot B and the height. Yeah, the height. Yeah. If we're going to the line, the line yeah. protects you. We don't have enough six months to put it in. Not if it breaks down, you're in. Don't come back. We're not going to fix it. <laughs>
I, I just want to make sure as far as long as I can see. I Okay, if everything falls through and you have to come back to us, then what are the ramifications if we say yes today to what you're proposing? We, we would just come back and say we want to amend the variance or we want a new variance based upon what we do, based upon changes where they have to tear it down. Um, well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing about. That, right? I mean, I, mean, I, I still know. That's what I'm that concerned about. about. Well, I think we'll have a, we'll have all our ducks in a row before the building gets torn down. I just got one more question. Um, how will we get confirmation that all the ducks are in a row? Great. We'll be applying for building permit. Okay. TRC. TRC will go through with them. Okay. So we're going. South B lot line, mm -hmm. yeah, just so you know, this is zero feet setback from the south C. Lava, and there's a high barrier to your site. Very much, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have to address that. I have some people from South Foundation said, I have to ask the facts on the whole. Zero foot setback from okay. south, we get a lot of The 10 feet, zero feet, zero feet setback from south, be a lot of Like I said, we haven't even talked about the height variance. Height and expectation. Could we, could we start the Well, and, and we can start filling in stuff, but you can't see um, the um, eight, eight, so we can determine. We have to very, very, we're we're very very determine earlier or times that we, in the height, it's a 30 inch height thing on a we just that's all I was trying to get well, to. We talked before about that was set because of with anything coming up, we could uh, review it. Um, so it's nothing crazy. Um, how do we feel about the height thing? After looking at it and uh, Mr. Easterday said it was seven feet from the foundation. No, so it's from the it's average. From the it's the, 10 from the foundation average, and that's what you determine your height from, right. from your average, which is seven feet. So your ordinance has you draw an X across the, the building. And, right. and, and that's, that's from pretty center, good. Yeah. From, from that, and from that right point, that it's point. seven feet. Yeah. Okay. And that grade, I mean, from what I'm looking at, the existing grade, you've got it going to the bottom and right in front of your foundation, but gray would actually be further out. Am I correct, Chuck? Yes. And so by doing that, I would almost say that you're probably within the 30 inch requirement from the way it looks. And that's I don't know that I agree with you. I could keep coming. Yeah, in the he's helping us back here yeah he said his boat has i think i think you guys ran a 12 foot 
per hour bow house for the same reason in which they need. Yeah, let's see if they're all the angle on there. <laughs> I don't think for that one. Is there any problem or any questions about the height? Fair answer. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready to move to finding the facts. The variance that's requested to be worded here now. Zero foot setback from the South B lot line and a height variance 10 feet from the foundation, 7 feet from the existing bridge. As it's, as it's worded on. You said seven foot? Ten foot from foundation, seven foot from existing grade. Does anybody know what we're voting on? Find everybody. If you vote no on any of these any questions, you must vote no on the variance. Based upon the evidence submitted, I find that number one, the approval will not be injurious to the public health, safety, morals, and general morals and general welfare of the community. Mr. Melchin? Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number two, the use and value of the area adjacent to the property, including the variance, will not be affected in a substan substantially adverse manner. Mr. Melchin? Yes. Mr. McManaway? Yes. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Chris? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Number three, the strict application of the terms of the, of the zoning ordinance will result in practical difficulties in the use of the property. Mr. Melchin. Yes. Mr. McManaway. Yes. Mr. Osborne. Yes. Mr. Christ. Yes. And the chair votes yes. I would entertain a motion that we approve this variance with the changes that we talked about. Um, second. <laughs> okay, Mr. Osborne made the motion. <laughs> I tried to. And Mr. McManaway seconded. <laughs> Any further discussion? Okay. How do you vote on the, the motion, Mr. Melchon? Yes. Mr. Manaway? Yes. Mr. Osborne? Yes. Mr. Christ? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Approved 5-0. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, well, that can be impressive. Right. Well, I'm going to get it, man. Well, I'm going to get it. I'm Thank you. Good. How are you? Good.
Chuck, did we have anybody on the line listening? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I know. I don't want to board. I didn't ask if they had anything. I have no idea. Like, I literally want to. Steel, do you have any comments? Of course, I've never heard of the conference. I need your history today. No. Yeah, I'm kind of on. We can answer your question here. Like, they don't think that's how they 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 think that's how my clients are going to be listed, but I keep that trying to I'm back them up. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, is that a good answer? I'm just curious what that, yeah. No. We know. Uh, I didn't get an answer. Sure. Yeah. I didn't get an answer. I didn't get an answer. Thanks. I do appreciate that. So, okay. Good reading. Yeah, I get the reading. Okay. Okay. Right. I get all that. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
three was a couple of Do I have to sign to buy three? Next is the July 21st minutes. Okay, and moved by Mr. Melson. I never can say that your name right. Melson, and uh, seconded by Mr. Manaway. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor, say by saying aye. 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 Just quick comment. <laughs> okay, question real quick. Since Andrew, you weren't here for okay. two minutes, is it and you couldn't sign them? Can you still approve them? Is, is, so is the vote. I, I, I didn't approve them. No, they can they can they can approve the minutes. Okay. But they just don't sign them. Okay, that's yeah, what I wanted to make sure. I don't know, JD, see if that would. Yeah, but they could have an objection to it for some reason. I think that's legitimate. Okay. New business. They think coming up. Okay. Well, old business, I guess, comes first. We have a old business. Nothing no old business. Looks like we'll have one case for October. It's hard to say October. It's hard to believe it's October. Mm -hmm. You have that in your hand. Um, the more information you guys write on there, um, going back, we have to look at it. It helps a lot. So I think Gary's always been very good at writing everything down. And so that the more you put on there, the more information you can give, the better it helps. We have to go back. For any reason, we've had to go back now and recreate the minutes. So we've been able to see it, but if we ever have to go to court for some reason, or that you have on there, that helps. Agree. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, like we talked about, I always talk about the hardship, but we talk about hardship. Just, and yeah. just so you know where I'm coming from when I request the minutes, um, apparently. You can answer this question, but a building permit in the town of Culver is issued through Marshall County. Yes. A building permit in the two mile limits is clearly issued through Marshall County. And every time I go to them with a building permit, they said, we don't have any knowledge of the variance. We're not going to we're not going to grant this building permit. You got to give me proof of the variance. And that's that's what's dragging me back. That makes sense. So. It makes sense because we 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 run the same issues. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as you get the minutes prepared, then you can give me a copy. I can get it to the building department and so they have it. Possibly, I'm just throwing this out. Possibly, the police needs to authorize the building commissioner to uh, issue a letter saying on such and such a date they approve the variance for the road setback and yes. Because no, I just have to give them something or they won't issue that darn building permit. In fact, they won't even set up for TRC. Really? Yeah. I don't need a place for actually when they get on whatever it's going to be. So, unlike the system where we enter their findings of that, doesn't trigger them? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, our next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, October 20th. We have at least one thing, and hopefully we won't have to come back to the Smith stuff. That all will be taken care of. 
Uh, and thank you for all the work you put into that chapter. Yeah, I got, I got to go off the records first. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got to go off the records first. Okay. Well, as soon as we close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing else. This meeting is adjourned. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Need to push it to adjourn. Oh, I guess.